everyone, it is Demosaur13 here, welcome back. So I have some great news for you guys. I have been uh, researching a lot on how to increase my VRAM, or video memory for those of you who don't know what VRAM is. And I keep on looking at all these things when it says, oh hey look, you can actually um, use the BIOS to change it. And everybody's like, oh, okay, I'll try that. And then when they go into their BIOS, there's no dedicated memory uh, management holder thing. And I actually found something really cool. So this guy in this video said to go into registry editor and to go increase fixed segment and set it to one or two. And I tried that and it didn't change anything. But here's the cool part. There was a person down in the comment section that said to actually try something different. And I'm like, okay, well that didn't work either. So maybe if we try and combine the two to see if it works. Well, I reset my computer and my video RAM, and I will actually show you, my video RAM went from 1020, or 128 megabytes to 512 and I was so excited because it was just such a great feeling because I'm like oh god I bet you it's not gonna work and then I'm like oh my god it actually worked so anyways this is what you guys want to do to start out make sure that you have registry editor open for those of you who don't know how to get there you can either type in reg edit in the search box or you can go into run uh, such as like this, run, you can go into this and then type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. It's the only thing you need to type in. Next, you want to go into your settings, you want to go into display, scroll down, click advanced display settings, scroll all the way down and click display adapter properties. So your total available graphics memory will be right here, that really isn't important, and dedicated video memory will be right here. So that's how much memory that your uh, video card is actually using as of now, and shared uh, system memory is 4. Uh, 415 megabytes. So this is what you need right here, you only need this number. So you want to exit out of the settings and leave this open. So then you want to go into your registry editor, so then you want to go into system, and you want to just click on system, go edit, find, and then go, um, uh, what was it? Oh yeah, increase fixed segment. You want to click find next. It'll take a minute for you guys, but I've already opened this many times. So once you find increase fixed segment, you want to double click it. So this is important. For those of you who don't know what kind of processor you have or how many cores you have, just type in system. Make sure it's system information. Click it. Should open and your processor should be right here. Now when you hold your mouse up it, it should say um, Intel, like for mine, it's an Intel i5-6200, 2.3 gigabytes, with two cores and four logical processors. You only want to worry about the two cores. That's what this is for. So if you have an i7-6700HQ with four cores, you want to set it to four. But since that mine's only two cores, you want to set it to two. You do not count the four logical processors. If it says because mine said four logical processors, you do not count that. It is only the cores. Make sure its base is hexadecimal and click OK. Now you want to scroll up on this part and you want to go into software. You then want to click on the arrow that has Intel, not the corporation, but just the Intel. And then you, if you do not have GMM in a file, then you want to click on Intel, click on New, and click on Key. Then you want to type in the key name as capital GMM. All this has to be capitals. Then, once you have created it, you want to click on it, right click, click New, and click DWORD 32-bit value. 
once you have it, you want to edit the name so it says dedicated segment side or size with a capital D, a capital S, and a capital S again. Make sure that there is no spaces. Once you have created it, double click it, and the value data will not be set to 512 right away. So now, this is actually going to set your dedicated video. So this one only says Intel HD Graphics 520 and it only has 512 megabytes. So the only reason why it says that is because that's what I set it to in here. You actually have, I believe, one gigabyte of dedicated uh, video memory because when you set it to 512, it splits 512 between two processors. So technically you would only have 200 something for 512 to actually make that full. So if you want, you can set it to 1024 just to make it a bit beefier. Don't worry about this number, it just says 4132 because you're adding to it. But yeah, this is actually quite handy in my opinion. I actually love the fact that you can actually change it. And I know it works because I have it set to 512 megabytes when it was only at 128 megabytes. So, if it doesn't work for you guys, maybe rewatch this video and see if you miss something. Don't just put the dedicated segment size in the Intel. Make sure that you create a GMM folder, click new and D word, not keyword, not multi string, not expandable string, not binary or string. It has to be D word. Make sure it's a 32 bit value. Create it. Make sure it's in GMM. If you click Intel, it'll just say this. Once you click GMM, it'll be right here. Make sure it's there. Make sure that when you're in system and you find the reg, the, um, the registry editor or the increased fixed segment, make sure that it is set to two. Otherwise, it will not work because it's splitting in between the two. So now, as you can see, I'm just going to click on the GMM again. So I already have it set to 1024. So I will be back to show you guys that it actually changes it. So I have 512 megabytes right now. Let's see if it changes it. I will be back in a moment. All right, we are back and I just checked it and I knew it. So I don't know if I said it already, but you can only change it for the highest is 512 gigabytes or megabytes. Holy gigabytes, that'd be sweet. Um, just because I think it actually splits it between the two processors and 512 megabytes is as high as it can go. Now I know it says total available graphics memory. Um, I don't know what I did wrong, but 512 megabytes I think is the highest can go. Maybe play around with the uh, increased fixed segment, maybe set it to 3 or 4 and see if that works. But I'm pretty sure that that is as high as it can go. So anyways, thanks you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please comment, rate, and subscribe because it helps on my channel a lot and lets me know you do like my videos. And anyways, I will see you guys all in the next video. Peace out, everybody.